Gonna load this is my bucket again, so I'll stack an action. Mm, I previously gave a short demo on pending reboots on Windows, and this time uh, I wanted to show you how to reboot the system with salt. It's pretty easy, I think it's called. Uh, so let's reboot one, let's only reboot this one. This guy, by the way, uh, that has a pending reboot, and you do a system. I think it's a dot reboot. I think and then you can specify the number of seconds so just do like 10 seconds i guess let's see what happens let's see if we see that here as well i honestly don't know it says true now 10 seconds and then do we see anything here it's not going down yet so we need to wait a little bit um, yeah, it should be very easy to reboot, but I did make a mistake, or not a mistake, but I did the system.reboot and I did the sp space 10, and that means that it waits 10 minutes by default. If I did 10 and then space true, then it would be seconds, but I didn't do, do that. I look it up in the documentation. But basically, this is the command so system.reboot space 0 means don't wait, and space true means in seconds. So, uh, now I'm gonna show you. You see, the system is now. See, I can log on to the system and now I'm gonna execute that command. I'm not logged on, of course, on this uh, box. Let's see if there's some magic. You see, it's going down. It's restarting and it's coming back up. It's not that exciting, of course, but it goes pretty quick. So I'm not going to pause it for the, the few seconds. Um, and of course, you can do this with multiple systems at once as well. And perhaps I'm going to demonstrate that as well. Why not? Uh, let's take the cluster manager here. And with that, just we do one as well. So we connect to one. Mm. We'll open that here as well. You see, so now we have one and we have two. Two is back from the reboot. One is here still. And now I'll go back to my salt and I specify DSC. Uh, ah, what the heck? I'll do them all. Doesn't matter. So let's see. Let's see what happens here. You see, we have them both open now here. I didn't open the other one. Uh, I think you will believe that we can do that quickly, by the way. You can even open the third one as well. Let's see if that one goes down as well, because that's a very old one. You see, that's a 2008 box. It's already down. It's a lot quicker than the other ones, I think. Uh, this one is already back, I think. 2016, that boots insanely fast. So that one is already back. This one is almost back. And this one is also already back, 2008. Um... Ah, pretty nice. So I rebooted a couple of servers. This one takes the longest, by the way, the 2012. It's probably one CPU in it or not much memory. I don't know. Doesn't matter either. So this one is back as well. So now we have, see, that one is back, that one is back, that one is back. And just, just one, once more, just for fun, we reboot them all once more. Let's see how quick that goes. So we have one here, one here, one here. All right. You see them all still. That one is down. This one is going down, I think. You don't see that yet. And this one is almost back up already. Uh, oh, honestly, this one didn't went down. I don't think so. Oh, okay. I have here a false and the minion did not return. So that, that's valid that they didn't went down. Perhaps I was way too hasty. You know, I'm pushing them a little bit. Uh, here it returned to false again, by the way, so it didn't went down here as well. I didn't expect uh, inspected this one, by the way, but it doesn't matter either. Just for the sake of demo, this command, system.reboot, can reboot multiple systems at once uh, with salt. Pretty, pretty easy to do as well. Um, yeah. I think that was it for this uh, short video. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.